We actually have a legend with us today. Uh, so excited to have uh, this young man uh, that continues to uh, bring us great music each and every uh, decade, if you will. Mm -hmm. Each and every five years or so, mm -hmm. we get new music mm -hmm. and have been impacting the gospel scene for, I would probably say, over, uh, over three decades. Yeah, over three decades for yes. sure. Yeah, so Robert O'Dean, who do we have with us today? It's Car Robert Carwell or Bobby Carwell. Bobby Carwell, yeah. Oh, he's a legend. Yeah. Um, we're just so thankful and honored this morning to have um, the debut pretty much of a single that has buzz and fire all over it. We're excited to have this young man. He's a San Diego native, and he has been singing since he was a little, little boy. And um, he was anointed as a child, never took a piano lesson in his life. Mm -hmm. So when you see him play and you see him minister, it was straight from heaven above. Ladies and gentlemen, this is The Voice. This is Pastor Melvin Sanders. Welcome to the Wake Up Morning Show with Dr. LT and Robert Earl Dean. Hey, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hallelujah. <laughs> you are, I already feel the anointing coming on through. I heard that hallelujah. <laughs> I, I, yes, I feel sir. it coming. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. It's good to be on with you guys. Y'all know I love y'all so much. Yes, you do. And You're a very faithful listener. And we thank That's God. Good. We thank God for you. What is going on in the life of Mr. Melvin Sanders? My God, my God, I tell you. Well, <laughs> I know the song says, I've been through the storm and the rain. But? But I made it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I'm here this morning, and it's all because of Jesus. And yeah. I just thank God for the, just just, just for this day, man. I, I've been, <clears throat> been working on a lot of, uh, Ah, uh, let me see. Been working on a lot of uh, music, of course, pastoring since I've been here in Texas. Mm -hmm. uh, we moved here in 2020, and uh, the Lord called us here to, to pioneer the church, and so we've been here pastoring and 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 just just man, just doing the will of God, uh, not doing a lot of traveling and stuff like I like I used to, but but just been pastoring, man, and just leading people to to, to the kingdom, you know, and. And uh, in the middle of all of that, uh, of course, uh, continually, uh, God's been continually giving me music, giving me, giving me songs to glorify Him, to exalt, and to uh, lift Him up, and to encourage. So I, I've just been—that's where I've been. That's what I've been doing all these uh, 20, uh, 23 years now since you know that we've been here. Now, my question to you, as writers, singers, and creatives have in these latter days have you had to rely on the music god gave you to get you through some dark times i hear a lot of singers talk about the same songs that people got blessed by had to minister to them during their situations yes most definite most definite i uh uh i i have a studio i have a recording studio here in my house and uh so many times I've I've come up here in my studio, man, and just and just getting God's glory, just getting God's face, and the song that He's given me, uh, things are working out for you. Yes, uh, there is hope for you, uh, Lord. Have mercy. So many. I can't wait to see His face. A uh, heart healer. All these songs uh, that God has given me has has ministered ministered to me. Even songs that have been recorded by other artists. Uh, like Beverly Crawford and and uh, so my good well. friend Nisa Shanae, mm -hmm. uh, serve you well. Yes, uh, it's a mystery. Mm -hmm. You know, it, th those songs have ministered to me, and it's amazing how God operates because the songs that He's given me, mm -hmm. they hit me first, they touch me first, they encourage me first, and and I, I know when I've written a song, and I know when God's given me a song. Right. And God has certainly given me songs, mm -hmm. amen, to share and to minister to others as well as myself. So I've I've done it in many days. I've done it in many days. Come up here and just get in God's face with songs that is easy to put in my spirit. Well, I want you to uh, jump back and just say, you said something very prophetic. You said, you know, when you've written a song and then when God has given you a song, uh, can you, can you g give, you know, expound on that a little bit more? Yes, 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 most definite. Uh, 
there are a lot of times, you know, we write songs because we're writers. We we naturally talented. We, we can sit down and and just rhyme words. Mm -hmm. We can sit down and rhyme words, and they sound good and they tickle the ear. It's just like a preacher. And, and Dr. Uh, Dr. LT, you know, yes, uh, you know, as as a man of God, uh, when when God has given you a word, and when you've gotten and when you've gotten your own word, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it's it's something about the word that God gives you that that brings change, brings deliverance, mm -hmm. brings uh, a freedom, and give brings hope. And 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 so many times when we get a word. We're, we're, we're preaching because we think that this is what the people need to hear. And then so many times God will change your message before you even get up to preach. Mm -hmm. you, you know, and I've heard it so many times and it has happened to me so many times. So when I say that there are songs that God gives us and that there are songs that we write, we have the ability to write. Mm -hmm. But then there are songs that God said, listen, this is what I want you to get out to the people. This is what I want to say to the people. And so songs like, like I said, songs like the heart healer, songs like it's possible, it's possible. you know, songs yeah. like that has, has, has ministered to so many people, man. And I don't take the glory. I don't take the praise. None of that's mine. All that belongs to him. But, but, but God gives us those songs and he puts them in our spirit and he puts them in our soul, puts them in our heart. And, and that's, that's where I go, you know, so, so one of the things that I want to say to you, um, um, both Robert and I, uh, we grew up in the uh, Church of God in Christ. We uh, were very blessed to have wonderful mentors in music and in ministry. Can you give us a little background of uh, your, your upbringing and what brought you to this place this far? You know, a lot of times people say, well, he comes from legendary family, legendary mm -hmm. singers, but it had to start somewhere. So Give us your, your your foundation of what brings you to where you're at today. Coming up as a child, <laughs> let me go all the way back. Mm -hmm. uh, coming up as a child, you know, my mama had 13 of us, mm -hmm. nine boys and four girls. She mm -hmm. was pregnant 18 times, so she actually had 18 children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. God allowed 13 of us to live and be here on this earth for whatever purpose, whatever reason uh, he had for us. And uh, so coming up as a child, you know, my mom, man, I mean, we went to church. It, 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 it ain't like today, you know, parents said, do you, you want to go to church? Do you want to go? Or, or do you feel like going? And the mm -hmm. child said, well, I don't want to go today. Well, okay. Well, I'll see you when I get back. Right. Mama said, no, you're going to church. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she would drag us. We, all of us be walking. Matter of fact, we walked from our house to church. The church wasn't, you know, quite that far from our house. But, man, we'd all be walking to church. All 13 of us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There are some being carried, some being pushed right. and strolling. But mom brought us up in the fear of the Lord. She yeah. brought us up under that, under that umbrella, man. And we grew up Church of God in Christ. Church mm -hmm. of God in Christ, man. My my pastor was Elder Overstreet. Yes. And church was St. Luke, Church of God in Christ in Phoenix, Arizona. Mm -hmm. And uh matter of fact, that's where I first started playing, playing the organ. <clears throat> uh my brother Larry, which is my mentor, mm -hmm. uh, started me, taught me how to play, and so coming up under that, coming up under that, that 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 glory, coming up under that presence, and even though as children we didn't understand, you know what was going on. All we knew is that we was at church, shouting, clapping, you know, uh, imitating people, mm -hmm. you know. But all that time, all the while. God was just dealing with me. God was, he was, he was, he was, he was implanting something inside of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so coming up under that, it just, I don't know, when I got a hold of God, I got a hold of him. Mm -hmm. Now I didn't get saved until I was about 12 or 13, right. <laughs> but I acted saved before then because I knew I didn't want to go to hell. Right. Yeah. Uh, so, but, but, but when I got you know, 12, 13, man, God really got a hold of me and here I am today, <clears throat> still serving, you know, still serving with even with opportunities that have come my direction. So many opportunities have come my way to 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 steer me another direction. That training, that upbringing, you know, I tell people, take your kids to church, even if they don't understand, take them because that'll get in them. And yeah. trust me, when it get in them, mm -hmm. they'll never forget it. They may not they, they may not even get saved, uh, but that's in them. The Bible said train up a child the way he should go. And it, it didn't it didn't guarantee you that he'd be saved, but it guaranteed you that that it will never depart from him. Right. You'll always know and always, you know, that'll always come back to him. So that's that's my background, man. That's mm -hmm. you know, Church of God in Christ, brother. That's I mean, man, 
<laughs> yeah, and the, and the reason why I ask that is because you know so many great writers and musicians and and artists have come from the Church of God in Christ mm-hmm. and there and it, and it wasn't that we had more anointing or things of that nature. God gave some special giftings to the church mm-hmm. and allowed um, music and technology to flourish in the church. And now we see it, you know, all over uh, churchdom. You know, before you wouldn't see drums in in church and. And, and all the musical instrument now if your church don't have drums mm-hmm. and, and sound and everything else people are looking at you differently and mm-hmm. just the the ability to go out and to build relationships within the church was something amazing so let's talk about some of the relationships you have built over the years um, and some of the artists that you have worked with and written for well go back to uh, I mean uh, Be- Beverly Crawford uh, has has sung a song I wrote, "Serve You Well." Mm-hmm. Nisa Shane has ri- has uh, sung two of the songs that I've written, "Serve You Well" and "Mystery." Mm-hmm. Uh, God allowed me. Andre Crouch was a mentor uh, for me, and uh, I I uh, I really honored him and 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 idled him as as a as a gospel artist. Mm-hmm. Uh, all the way back to the take me back in the, you know, uh, everywhere, take this message everywhere. Right. I mean, all those old songs that Andre uh, would write. So, and uh, I don't know, I just, one day I wanted to, I prayed, I said, Lord, I just want to meet this guy. And I got a chance to meet him and then got a chance to to, to actually uh, uh, sing on his, uh, uh, on his album, Pray. Mm-hmm. And uh, then God has blessed us to do some things with, uh, sung a little background with Lou Ross and, and, uh, Met Shirley Caesar and all these different ones that the Lord has allowed me to just come in contact with, you know, uh, Billy Preston, uh, all these, all these great, <laughs> the great, I call them the greats, legends, you know, uh, the legends, you know, mm-hmm. uh, Earl Dean, you know, great yeah. artists, uh, John DeCure, Amen, Doctor Doctor T. All, right. I mean, just some wonderful people that God has allowed me, Amen, to just to to just be a part of, you know. Mm-hmm and uh, share what he's given uh, to me with him. And you travel for years with the legendary Lonnie Morgan and the Voices in Praise. You guys have shared yes, the sir. stage with some of the biggest names in the industry. Yes, sir. Lonnie Morgan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Andre Great Brooks. artist. Mm-hmm. Great artist. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now let's talk about you working with a minister or a ministry named <laughs> Morris Cirillos. This is one of the biggest preachers in, 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 in kingdom Christendom. Yes. I actually got an opportunity to, 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 to play, uh, at some of his conferences. Mm-hmm. I had an opportunity to pray for some of his conferences, uh, some, some years back before he passed away, God rest him. Uh, but yeah, some opportunities to play for his concerts. I mean, his uh, conferences mm-hmm. and, and did some traveling, uh, with him as well. And uh, also, um, I traveled all over the country, man, and international also with uh, a brother named Dale Benstinas. Uh, very, very, I mean, powerful ministry. Mm-hmm. Uh, we traveled and, and ministered together for, man, over 15 years. Wow. Uh, and just traveled all over. Got a chance to go to, to uh, Australia. Wow. Yes, got a chance to go to Australia. It was wonderful, man, just wonderful. And so God has taken me some places. You know, and these in and, and, and this check this out. This is through prophecies that have that 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 were that were that were spoken over me as a child that God would that God would open up some doors and that I would be able to minister to kings and queens and mm-hmm. and and I believe when he said kings and queens, I don't think he's just talking about uh you know the, the queen over in England. The royal, right? Mm-hmm. I, yes, I mean that's all over the world. Kings and queens, right here in the United States. Mm-hmm. You know, God has just opened that door, and so. Uh, man, just a lot of wonderful people I've uh, people I've met uh, through the years. Linda McCrary, the, all the McCrary, the great. Uh, I mean, big name in in, in, in the LA area. Yes. Gentry McCrary, legend. Yeah, Gentry. Yes, Linda Howard, uh, their son Darius. I mean, all these all these wonderful people. God has, has given me an opportunity to be uh, be a part of their lives, and I I thank Him for it every single day. Well, I I want to uh, dispel a rumor. Uh, and I'm going to work through this rumor and you can help me and tell me if it's true or not. Now, I don't know if it happened in Australia or it happened in America, but there was an animal that was trying to chase you down. Oh, God. I don't know if it was the oh, kangaroo Lord. or if it was the dog. 
uh, over here in America. Can you tell us a time that you had to outrun an animal? An uh, animal? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is a rumor. That is that's a rumor. A rumor. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, is, that's not true. that is that 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 is not true. That rumor is not true. I don't know what it is. The kangaroo didn't try to punch you, okay? Because some of the kangaroos will fight you. Yeah, the, the, the kangaroos. Well, you, you you know when I was when, when I was in Australia. Now, one thing I did, and when I was in Australia, we went to the zoo, and I did have a chance to to stand up next to one and mm. and and you know kind of pat him a little bit. Mm. But of course, they tell us to be careful because because they can if they got a bad if they're in a bad mood, you know they can trip, they can go through some changes, they right. can you know like him uh, do some stuff. So, but no, I mean, yeah, I because mean, you know. You know, uh, so you was you was in harm's way, but God protected he you. He protected because, you because you know they got they got some uh, upper hooks and some right punches that will knock out the strongest men. You know what I'm saying? They and they, they stand up and they put that t they put their tail behind them to give yes, them sir. leverage. So when they when yeah. they sock you, it, it's a full on blow. What if you stab them? Huh? What if you stab him? Because I'm a stabber. Well, well see, the first of all, you got to get close enough. Because normally yeah. they'll punch you. They jab is tough. You jab them, but you catch that arm when it come up. You just slice <laughs> it off. Well, 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 well. The advantage, the advantage is this: the arms are short. Yeah. So I mean, as, when I say short, I mean like very short. Right. Almost like a Godzilla arm. You know how Godzilla. Right. Rrr, right. You know he's short, but that short arm was so. So if they throw a right hook, all you got to do is just duck back. You know, and, and you cut know, it. And, man, they but but they are dangerous. They're very, very, very dangerous. They're yeah. very dangerous. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, oh yeah, it's crazy, man. But God but protected it, it, it was you. Awesome. It, was an it was an awesome opportunity. I mean, and and check this out. When I was there, I saw one black person. The whole time I was there, I was there for twenty one days. Was you looking in the mirror? When one you did that? I saw one brother crossing the street. Okay. <laughs> he thought you was looking in the mirror at yourself, brother. Listen, when I saw him, I said, "Hey, what's up, bro?" And that was that was the only time I saw him. Brother. Wow, that's crazy. Now it's crazy. Who are some of who are some of your dream artists or singers that you want to work with? Oh man, hmm. One of them I've already worked with. Of course, he's passed on, Andre Crouch. Yes. Uh I love Yolanda Adams, man. Uh, my goodness, so many of them, uh, and 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 most of those have gone. They're, mm -hmm. they're gone on. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I love CC Winans. Donny Hathaway was one of your favorite. Donny Hathaway was 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 one of my yes. That was my that was my vocal idol, man. Yeah, my vocal idol. Mine too. Uh, I mean, he's awesome. He was awesome. Uh, Oh my God! It's just I don't know. There's there's a few, not a whole whole lot, but mm -hmm. there there is a few. There is a few. Well, you know, um, you know, when you when you think of Donnie Hathaway, and then you listen to Leonard and the Leonard. Don't you miss no Leonard Ads? Boy, I just, Robert, Robert, <laughs> keep that group in your head. Well, in my head, keep them in your head. That that that, that Leonard Ed, they, the, they the Leonard like Ads is in your it's in your imagination. <laughs> That's okay. We're going to keep it, it there. It, Hallelujah. It, it's okay. You know? Yeah. <laughs> so let, let's talk about the this new single that is phenomenal. Let's talk about how it was put together and who you work with in doing it. Uh, the new single, Love Will Find a Way. Lord have mercy. My manager, <laughs> a young man by the name of Derek McGee, here in Fort Worth, Texas. Mm -hmm. I met him <clears throat> through uh, Pastor Carl Williams, uh, which is an worship awesome He's a ministry, awesome pastor, yes. awesome preacher, awesome songwriter. Mm -hmm. I mean, the guy's off the chain. But I met him through Pastor Carl Williams. <clears throat> he was actually Carl Williams' drummer, and was at a conference uh, uh, with my cousin, uh, with my nephew Gordon. And to, uh, uh, my Tamika niece, Denise, uh, uh, Gordon Tamika. and uh, Tamika, mm -hmm. met them at that comp at their conference, and didn't have any idea that we were going to hook up. No idea at all. Mm -hmm. Just enjoyed the music, enjoyed the ministry, and uh, of course, I sung that night. And later on, did some other things with Carl, uh, with Pastor Carl, and met and got a chance to to to, to actually meet Derek. And uh, when I met him, 
it was just something about his spirit. <clears throat> and I didn't know that he had in the past managed anybody. I didn't know that that was his calling, his ministry, uh, his desire. And uh, through another brother that I met, he said, hey, man, talk to Derek, because I was talking to him about management. I said, yeah, you know, he was he had heard my music, heard some of the stuff that I had written, and was like, wow, man, you got all this stuff, man. What are you doing with it? You know, mm-hmm. da 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 mm-hmm. I said, well, I've been praying for, uh, for for God to send me somebody that can help me to get it out mm-hmm. and, to, and, to, and really just, you know, move it from the studio, mm-hmm. you know, out into the, out into the world. And so <clears throat> talking to uh, Derek, we got to talking and chatting and I asked him, I said, hey, I said, uh, yeah, I heard you, I heard you did some, did some managing, you know, for some people. So from just from there, man, God just, God just began to connect us. And, 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 and he said, man, I want to work with you. I want to work with you. And so <clears throat> in that, uh, he heard the song, uh, Love Will Find a Way. Because I was singing some other stuff mm-hmm. and he heard Love Will Find a Way. He said, that song right there. And I'm like, well, what about it? That song right there, man, we need to record that. And so from there, it just, it just exploded. It just, mm-hmm. I mean, we, we got, we got, got, uh, got some musicians, got some guys, pastor, uh, pastor Chan, uh, was our, he, I gave him the music, man. He took the music, man, and just began to produce it mm-hmm. and put it all together. And then we, uh, Got our uh, brought in a bass player, a phenomenal bass player. Uh, brought in uh, Derek plays drums, and these guys just came together. And it's crazy because everything I'm telling you, everything just hooked up like a like a hand in a glove, mm. and 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 no no conflicts, no no nothing, man. It just all came together. <clears throat> now I wrote I wrote this song, I wrote this song in 1989 between 89 and 92. Between wow. eighty nine and ninety two, that's over twenty three years ago mm-hmm. that this song was written. But God had it set up, and that's why. Well, you can't put a time limit on God. For now, mm-hmm. <laughs> you can't put a time limit on God. No, sir. Uh, you can't put us. You, know, you can't put a, a, a limit on God, man. God, God will give you something in nineteen eighty that He releases in nine in, in two thousand twenty three. Yeah, mm-hmm. and 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 touch and move and, and I'm telling you, and so I'm seeing this. So we're in the studio, we're recording. Every time I sing the song, it, it brings tears to my eyes because it talks about the love of God. It talks about how much he loves us. You know, it mm-hmm. talks about how much he really cares about us. Mm-hmm. And so <clears throat> so when we hooked up and, and started doing things, we didn't think about the business part or nothing. We just, we just going, we just going. And I had to literally sit him down. And that's where, that's when I realized that this guy really has a heart, number one, for ministry. Yes. And then God has hooked us up because he has a heart. He had a heart to, to he has a heart to, to really push yes. and to really work with what God has given me to get out to the people. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, but this song, man, when it came to me years ago, didn't think about it the way I think about it now. <clears throat> the name of the song back then was uh, Love Will Always Win. Mm-hmm. And just a few years ago, the Lord changed the name to Love Will Find a Way. And uh, so that's 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 how this 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 production came about. This single came about, and I really believe it's going to touch a lot of people. Uh, and and I just pray that people will really hear it, really hear the words. Mm-hmm. I'm a lyricist. Uh, music is, you know, I, you know, the music thing is is great, but I'm a lyricist. If mm-hmm. the, if it's not saying something, then it really it's really it don't really, really mean nothing to me. Right. That's to me. It really don't mean anything right. to me. Uh, but the lyrics on this song is just, is just, I mean, straight from heaven. Like I said earlier, we write and God writes. Mm-hmm. And uh, I really believe he wrote this one. Well, people need this. Um, so we were talking, talking to someone last night. So many people are still mentally um, messed up over COVID, being isolated for two years and, and, and some change. And it's very important as human beings that we communicate and socialize. So that is messed up a lot of young people old people and medium age people. So love is the word that we need because to come to church now, it won't be the church people that were in church. It's the Mm -hmm. people from the streets who didn't grow up like us. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah. love will find a way. Love, love yeah. covers a multitude of sin. Love mm -hmm. conquers all. So that's a universal language. So I believe God gave it to you for this time. And I believe that God preserved you for this time. You know, many times we, we feel like, Lord, why is my why hasn't it been my time? And I'm too old or I'm too young or I'm this and that. But God is like, I said, let there be and there yeah. was. So yeah, well, I want you to be encouraged and I want you to know that this is your season and this is your time. The, no matter what you need, I believe in my heart that God is going to supply it. He's yes. faithful yeah. and he's just, and he's going to bring, give us the desires of our heart. And he has, Earl. He has, he has, he has supplied. I'm telling you, if I told you what this project costs, you would not believe it. Oh, yes, I would. It's, I'm telling you, God God has supplied. He has supplied. And check this out. You said something uh, concerning love and, 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 and how powerful it is. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about this, and, and the Lord just opened it up to me that, that and, and I tell people all the time, I said, love is, not, love is not a word. Love is action. Yes, sir. The Bible said, for God so loved the world. That he gave. That he gave. So God so loved the world that he did something. Mm-hmm. But actually, he did you know, something. He mm -hmm. gave, mm -hmm. and he loved us so much that even though we were separated him, separated from him, from the beginning, mm -hmm. he he loved us so much that his love found a way to get us back to him, and that was through his son Jesus, through the cross, the blood. Yes, I mean that's that's true. That's true love, yes. and that love that he has for us found a way. It found a way, found and that way was through his son. Yes. Because he loved us and he had, he didn't throw us away. Mm -mm. He didn't, he didn't get rid of us. Mm -mm. He he loved us and he still loves us in spite of, I don't care what mistakes we make. Mm -hmm. I don't care what, 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 uh, 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 how our lives are, what turmoil we've been through, what, it, it doesn't make a difference mm -hmm. where you are even right now. God loves us. And that love was demonstrated through his son. Yes. I don't care what nobody said, man. Jesus, man, I'm telling you, brother, that, 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 that. <laughs> It's powerful. It's, it's powerful. powerful. It's powerful. It's powerful. Love is powerful. You know, and 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 it and it acts. It moves. Yes. It lives. It breathes. And it That's meets us right where we are. It meets us right where we are. We don't have to be a certain way. We don't have to have a certain amount of money. Right. We don't have to have a certain amount of education. God's love for those that are listening will meet you right where you are. You at the darkest time of your life, and right you feel like giving up. The love of God right. is there for you. And he wants yeah. you to just ask, open your mouth and talk to him. No matter how you talk to him, he just wants you to talk to him because love has found its way. That's right. That's right. And he's, he's brought us to this place. And today we're here because of his love. Yes. The grace and his mercy. So um, let's talk about um, the new single. Um, is it uh, out? Are we the first one to uh, play it live? How can they get it? How can they connect with you? How can they book you? You all are the first one that's gonna play this live. Oh, 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 oh. Nobody, nobody else has heard it except for those, you know, little bitty groups that we've, you know, gotten it out to little friends and and family just to kind of get some feedback. So you all are the first ones that are going to actually play this live. Uh, we have it on every platform you can think of. <laughs> Spotify. I can't even name them all. There's so many of them. Right. Uh, but yeah, we and, and it's actually coming out. Uh, it's coming out this uh, tomorrow on the. I'm sorry, on the 18th, mm -hmm. which is Saturday. It'll be released Saturday on the 18th uh, to the world. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, but you all are the first one playing it. Uh, this is the first time everybody will hear it, and I just pray that they're blessed and that they're ministered to. And we want you all to go out and get it. Love is an yeah. action word. Action is going yeah. and paying that 99 cent or whatever it is to bless this yeah. ministry. Let's make this song a household name. And those that know family members or friends that are going through, get this song for them because the anointed of gospel music change lives. It changes men mental. It changes the heart. So let's yeah. go, you guys. Let's make gospel music the number one music. It could be, you know, but we... As, as as Christians and the body of Christ, we don't support gospel music like we should. We should be the number one music because we're the only one to have the answer for everybody's That's right. situations. That's right. That's right. Said, how can they book you? 
uh, or connect with you? Uh, my, uh, they can definitely get me through uh, my manager <clears throat> again, and his name is Derek uh, McGee. And we're gonna we're gonna actually uh, we're gonna actually upload some information, uh, contact information, uh, and we'll get it to you all. We'll get it to uh, others, and uh, uh, and we'll 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 definitely make sure that there is a way to get us uh, to have us to come and minister and 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 share. Well, with that being said, the incomparable writer, singer, pastor, Melvin Sanders, his new cut coming out on Saturday, but you're hearing it first on G.O.D. Radio 1, Love Will Find a Way. Robert Earl. Peep this out, everybody, on G.O.D. Radio 1.com.